What's up watchers of the Marvel Multiverse, this is The Marvelous Wave and welcome back to the channel. With the release of Spider-Man No Way Home just a few days ago, ripples have been bouncing around the internet about the future of the Spider-Man character. Before we can talk about it more in depth though, I do want to say major spoilers will lie ahead in this video, so if you have not seen No Way Home, I implore you to do so before watching. With that said, we actually have a big piece of news and an announcement not concerning Tom Holland's Spider-Man, but rather Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. Before we get into it, I would like to say that we're giving away another Spider-Man hot toy, so if you would like to enter to win a hot toy yourself, the rules are all you have to do is like the video, subscribe, turn on notifications, and tell me below your favorite scene in No Way Home. We've given away three hot toys already, and we'd like to continue throughout December, and maybe even a bit in January. Anyway, on with the news. For everyone that's seen the movie, we obviously know that Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire do actually appear in the film near the end of the second act, and are a prominent driving force of Peter Parker, Tom Holland's Peter Parker's story in the third act and his decision ultimately not to kill the Green Goblin. Although the Amazing Spider-Man duology is considered the lesser of all of the three franchises, many fans are in agreement that Andrew Garfield absolutely steals the show as his iteration of Peter Parker. And although he has limited screen time, the depth of emotion that he shows, especially after catching MJ, and the sadness that he feels for the mistakes that he's made as Spider-Man are evident throughout the film. I can say, with maybe the exception of Willem Dafoe, that Andrew Garfield gives the best performance in Spider-Man No Way Home, and you can really feel what his Spider-Man has been through, perhaps a little bit more than even the other two Spider-Men. Andrew Garfield is clearly shaping up to be a fan favorite, which is why yesterday, apparently Andrew Garfield and his team made it clear to Marvel Studios that he would very much be interested to returning to the role of Peter Parker from an alternate universe. Whether or not Sony decides to do an offshoot and follow the Amazing Spider-Man universe again with Andrew Garfield, or whether or not he will appear in the MCU as Peter Parker yet again again is unknown. But again, Andrew Garfield has made it clear to Marvel and Disney that he would like to return and would like to continue to play the character. Out of the three actors that have played Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield is reportedly the biggest fan, and you can tell this comes through through his performance. We're also getting reports from various leakers that this will not be the last time that we will see both Toby and Andrew in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and that they will appear later down the line in some capacity. How soon or when is completely unknown. Andrew Garfield has been widely published about his disappointment in the Amazing Spider-Man duology, and was very sad when he learned that he would no longer be able to portray the character. Just yesterday as well, Kevin Feige himself revealed why he did not consult on the Amazing Spider-Man 3. Kevin Feige said this, I'm not good at that, just giving advice and leaving. The only way I know how to help is if we just make the movie for you. Apparently over at Sony, who obviously owns the characters of Spider-Man, including Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, they are interested in pursuing an Amazing Spider-Man 3. Whether or not this will ultimately come to fruition though is completely unknown, as again Tom Holland's fourth Spider-Man outing is in active development. But again, apparently according to this, Andrew Garfield's team has made it clear that they are interested in pursuing a third Spider-Man film. And personally, I think it's very well deserved. The character that Andrew Garfield portrays here with all of the pain and sadness is quite compelling. He's a character that's been through so much, and I would love to see Andrew get another crack at him. But anyway my friends, what are your thoughts on this, and what are your thoughts on Sony potentially developing a Spider-Man 3 with Andrew Garfield, and Andrew Garfield basically announcing that he would like to play the character again? Don't forget to enter to win the hot toy if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to assemble and join our team, and I hope you guys have a great day.